One of the questions that comes up from time to time, both from new Adobe Captivate users and from my clients as well, is the question of having more than one multiple choice question on a single slide. In the past, I've always sort of dismissed this thinking that, well, you know, you can have it on two slides or three slides, depending on, on how many questions that you wish. And I've left it at that. But recently I've got to thinking about this and thinking about, you know, breaking down what some of the question types really are. And I've come up with this possibility here that, that might be of interest uh, to other users as well. And that's by using the functionality of a fill in the blank. Now I've already gone ahead and rewrote the statement at the top here. Use the drop down menu to select the correct answer for each of the following questions. And of course you'd want to change the title of this slide from fill in the blank to multiple choice perhaps. You know, and in this case here, what I've done is I've wrote the question, I wrote the correct answer uh, for three different questions. And what you can do is, of course, and I like to add a couple of spaces here at the end, but just highlight the question and over in the quiz panel, mark that as blank and do the same thing for your other answers as well. We'll do this for this one here. Again, I put in some extra spaces because I find sometimes the drop down menus, uh, you know, they're kind of tight. So I'm hoping this will work. And we'll just add the uh, mark blank for the third question as well. And now, of course, what we can do is we can click on each one. Now, normally fill in the blank leaves you with a literal fill in the blank. But one of the options that's available to you in Adobe Captivate is to switch that to a drop down list. And then what you can do is you can have your correct answer indicated with the checkbox here. And we can put in some distractors. So we could put in green, and we can say yellow, and black as just some distractors here. And let's uh, go to the next one here. Uh, just so again, click your mouse on the, the answer. And again, switch this to drop down list. We'll choose again, blue is the correct answer for this one, but we'll add some distractors, uh, gray, and uh, yellow, green, and the, the like. And of course, what color is the grass? We'll do the same thing again. Switch this to drop down list. Green is the correct answer. Blue, I guess it could be Kentucky bluegrass, but uh, we'll just ignore that for now. Silver, black, some obvious wrong answers there. And so that's pretty much set up. Now, of course, I've got it set up to uh, shuffle those answers as well. Uh, to be more like a multiple choice here. So let's just do uh, a preview of this project here and see what that looks like. So here's our title slide and there we go. So our multiple choice here, we can select from the drop down menu. So what color is the sky? Let's get it wrong first. And the ocean is not yellow, but we'll choose that anyway. And we'll say the grass is silver and submit and of course you could continue at that point. Let's uh, refresh this and just see a correct answer. And of course you can customize the question to give multiple tries if you wish. What color is the sky blue? The ocean is blue. And what color is the grass? Green. So not really a true multiple choice in the traditional sense of having radio buttons. But a good alternative if your client or stakeholder insists that you have more than one question on a slide. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at paulwilsonlearning.com. Follow me on Twitter at PaulWilsonLD, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.